My dear brothers and sisters, when we hear the concept or the word mutual consultation or shura, we always think of something elaborate, something very complex. We talk about or we think about governance organizational procedures or an institution called shura and as you know many masajid they have a shura board several masajid together they have the shura council and in many countries you have majlis of shura so it sounds like a very big extremely big concept and all of that are fine why not? After all, in the Quran, there is an entire chapter, chapter 42, that is entitled Surah Ashura. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informs us how to run our affairs in order to go in the right direction. What is it that is needed? among our members to put our thoughts together to consult with each other Allah is telling us that they're the believers are those who respond to Allah that is with Iman those who establish prayer so first is Iman establishment of prayer and then the third is their mutual consultation in their affairs and then the fourth one and they spend of what we have bestowed upon them so where does Shura fall between Salah and zakat between connection to Allah connection to humanity comes shura Hassan al-Basri one of the great tabi'een he said wallahi mastashara qat qawmun qat illa hudu li afdali ma bi hadratihim thumma tala wa amruhum shura baynahum people never seek advice without being guided to the best possible agreement whatever is available to them the best possible outcome and he recited the ayah and the believers they manage their affairs by mutual consultation but my question to you and to myself where does consultation begin where does consultation begin? And you will be amazed that consultation, mutual consultation begins at a far lower level. At the smallest unit of governance, and that is our family. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that in Al-Quran, فَإِنْ أَرَادَ فِصَالًا أَنْ تَرَادٍ مِنْهُمَا وَتَشَاوُرٍ if in a divorce in a divorce situation if both the husband and the wife decide on weaning the child that is to take the child off of breastfeeding or today milk infant milk which is <laughs> short anyhow <laughs> so if they decide to take off from the, from the milk and give the child food by mutual consent and after due consultation, there is no blame on either of them. So the father can blame the mother and say, you know what? You wanted to give this child infant formula. Now there is no infant formula. What's going to happen? So there's no argumentation. Maybe this is something that 
those who are getting married should pay attention to. In your prenuptial agreement, you may have some clause that says, in case of a dispute, we will go back to this mutual consultation that Allah wants us to do. And so when we begin mutual consultation at the family level, it builds up. It builds up higher and higher and higher in society, in a country. And societies that are built on these principles of mutual consultation or shura do have the right compass moving along in every aspect of life. And this is significant as we often do not see much action these days in terms of consultation within the family, holding a family meeting, decide on our way forward, on simple things. Muslim also should know that the reality is that human consultation, despite highly refined and well built, thought out, that it cannot be free from errors. But what we also do know that Allah is the absolute, has absolute knowledge over everything. And we also do know that if we do seek consultation within the family, within a masjid, within an organization, within a country, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam tells us, in Allah la yajtami'u ummati ala dalalatin wa yadullahi ma'al jama'a. Allah surely will not let my nation agree on something of misguidance. And the hand of Allah is over the united community. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in as much as Shura is a divine reference, it also has the human application. And this is how Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us to the point that Abu Huraira radiallahu an, he says, Ma ra'aytu ahadan akthara mushawaratan li ashabihi min Rasulillah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I have not seen anyone more prone to mutual consultation seeking his companions counsel and advice more than the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we all know that even if he were to tell them do this without consultation they would have done that but yet in most of the battles we have seen consultation after consultation after consultation one after the other even though his opinion might be different like what happened in the case of the battle of Uhud and so his companions and those who came after them my dear brothers and sisters what happens when we do not have mutual consultation even within our family in English there are some words for that and when it goes up to the level of government, there are some words of system that does not do mutual consultation, dictatorship, tyranny, fascism, monarchy, autocracy, authoritarianism, and examples of 20th and 21st century abound. We know countries that do not follow mutual consultation it is my way or no other way. In fact, there is one other way, and that's a one-way ticket out. People such as Pharaoh, he has a consultative body, like many of the Pharaohs today, but they did whatever he wanted them to do. As Allah says, فَتَّبَعُوا أَمْرَ Fir'aun." They followed what Pharaoh wanted and Pharaoh was misguided. His way was totally misguided so everybody said yes. You want to kill the children of Israel? Yes. You want to kill all the males in the family? Yes. So there were yes men in his consultative body. 
even his own wife, a believer in Allah, when he found out that she believed in Allah and she did not believe in him as God, he executed her. She became a martyr. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we are concluding, Shura, mutual consultation, has to do with protection of the objectives of the Sharia or basic human rights, the rights to life, the rights to faith, the rights to wealth, intellect, and our progeny. And when you are asked to give a consultation within your family or within your community, within your organization, you have to give the best of your ability because the Prophet ﷺ said, Man istasharahu akhuhu al-Muslim fa ashara alayh bi ghayri rujdin fa qad khana. Anyone who gives his Muslim brother or sister misguided advice, so you know it's misguided, but you want them to fail, when they consult them, they have betrayed him. So if you know you're giving wrong advice to someone just for him to fail, you have betrayed him. And so the consultation is an amana, is a trust. When somebody says, brother or sister, what do we do? How should we carry out our affairs? What do we plan ahead of us? You have to give your best judgment. In conclusion, I would like to send all of us home with some homework. And that is after we return from this convention, all of us should start within our family. Sometimes it's a little difficult in the beginning, but this is summer. In this summer, ask your family, what do we do with two and a half, three months of vacation the, ch the kids are at home? Where do we go? Seek the children advice and they start to train and they know that this is the process of seeking their opinion. And I'm seeing a lot of children here from the vision I have. I'm seeing a lot of children here. I'm sure you will be absolutely excited that your parents will say, Abdullah, Ahmad, Maryam, where, what do you think we should do in this holiday, in this three months summer vacation? Wouldn't you be happy, children? I'm not hearing the children be happy. Yes. And once you are happy, your parents are going to be happy. Eventually, they were all going to be happy. And I will tell you, if we, if we all do this from our home, it will build up in our community. We would like to have it in our community. And we will reflect it in our nation across the globe if we have that mutual consultation in our home. And finally, when you make a decision, you all put your trust in Allah and move forward. Don't look back and start to say, well, Maryam, you said so. Abdullah, you said so. It was doom. I'm not going to ask you guys again. Never do that. Because Allah says, وَشَاوِرْهُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ Seek consultation. فَإِذَا عَزَمْتَ فَتَوَكَّلَ اللَّهِ عَلَى اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُتَوَكِّلِينَ And when you have taken your decision, then you put your trust in Allah and certainly Allah loves those who put their trust in Him. And I hope and pray all of you, please say, Insha'Allah. From your home, to your masjid, to your organization, please have mutual consultation because that will be the compass of a smooth running way towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything other than that is politics, is going to be uh, dictatorship, fascism, and all the things that we don't like. May Allah bless us all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.